Professor Stephen Hawking is an unlikely celebrity. He achieved international fame with the publication of the scientific bestseller A Brief History of Time. He's disabled by a condition that has left him almost completely paralysed. Right, well, I've just arrived here at Cambridge University at the Centre for Mathematical Sciences to interview Professor Stephen Hawking. The uh, crew's already there, so let's uh, see if we can find the door. I started by asking whether his theories and beliefs had changed much in the last 20 years. Over the last 20 years, observations have to a large extent confirmed the picture I painted in a brief history of time. The one major development that was not anticipated was the discovery that the expansion of the universe is accelerating now, rather than slowing down. However, it fits in very well. I now understand why the universe is the way it is. We live in the most probable of all possible worlds. Why is your outlook for humanity so pessimistic and what are your solutions? I see great dangers for the human race. There have been a number of times in the past when its survival has been a question of touch and go. The Cuban Missile Crisis in 1963 was one of these. The frequency of such occasions is likely to increase in the future. We shall need great care and judgment to negotiate them all successfully. But I'm an optimist. If we can avoid disaster for the next two centuries, our species should be safe as we spread into space. Go ahead, Charlie. I asked him whether the human race had a moral obligation to find out more about space. And we'd like to go ahead and uh, go to filter state. I don't think the human race has a moral obligation to learn about space, but it would be foolish and short-sighted not to do so. It may hold the key to our survival. What expectations, Professor Hawking, do you have of the space flight? that you hope to go on next year? The zero-g flight I did last year was wonderful. After 40 years in a wheelchair, it was so good to be floating free. But that flight was just a warm-up for space. The real thing should be much better and last much longer. The sky will be black and the stars will shine brightly. I am a bit worried about the high G forces on the way up and down, but I coped with them OK on the zero G flight. And with that, we thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you.